Good morning, what's going on guys? Oh, so bright out, I can't stop squinting. John here, weekend John vlogs. Sorry, we've been kind of getting behind on our vlogs the last couple days. We've been super, super, super busy. Uh, we've been running all over the place. We've been doing a lot of different stuff, so it's been hard for us to get our vlogs up on our regular schedule. But hopefully, we'll get back to it. Um, we should be done doing all the crazy stuff that we've been doing. But I'm working on this today. I've got a dryer hose, which I'm actually gonna connect right here. Uh, they run down there and that way this whole grill will fill up with smoke and all the smoke will be forced out uh, and down low up the tube so the whole grill chamber will fill with smoke and then I'm gonna make those ribs today and I'm looking forward to that. Right, grill modification one. Boom. I'll get you guys a really good visual of when I'm smoking uh, the meat later, how it actually works. I always get screwed going to the grocery store in the morning to get breakfast eyes when we're out of breakfast because I always wake up and eat first. It's just... <laughs> I need to like wake Nikki up and trick her into eating first so she has to go to the grocery store and get eggs and turkey sausage and chicken Caesar, well, Caesar salad. You add the chicken later. Uh, you guys want to know what really curds my cheese is when you're driving through a parking lot and someone in like a smaller two-door car, for instance, an Infiniti SGX WWCR whatever WG, you know, or a small Beamer or anything like that, and they feel like they need to drive extra th slow through the parking lot because they have such a fancy car and they go really slow over the speed bumps, which I understand. You don't want to scrape your body kit or your fender or your bumpers or your anything like that. But when you go through the parking lot and then you turn the corner and like take off down the rows where there's cars, where there's nobody and go like three times as fast as you were going while there was five people following me, it makes me think that you're just a dick who likes to slow other people down in grocery store parking lots. Yummy lard, lots and lots of lard. Dang it, they're out of the egg whites that I like to eat, so I have to get egg beaters which are a little bit more yellow, and I don't like the yellow ones, I like the white ones. Turkey bacon, turkey bacon, turkey bacon. Turkey sausage, turkey sausage, turkey sausage, turkey sausage. The heck's that, this, this, that's not turkey sausage. I have to pick the right one. I think I like this one. These are pretty good. And of course, tortoise food. Things in the entire world is going home. I love going home. Anytime I'm on my way home, I'm like, ah, I'm so happy. And I gotta get out fishing. I got all my stuff loaded up. And I haven't been out fishing yet because of all the rain. The lake I wanted to go to got 14 inches of rain. It came up like four to eight feet. So that just kind of throws off the entire fishing. All the fish are really confused. The water's changed, the water's colder, it's muddy. Um, the depths have changed, the whole lake is completely different. So that really throws the fish off for a couple days and they have to adjust and get used to that. So I might go out today, might go out tomorrow. We'll see what happens. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm trying to get like a thumbnail on Taylor's for the new vlog. Oh, that's a great thumbnail. Mm. Oh, your hair kind of looks like a heart. It or a look. vagina. I'm so tired right now. Oh, no. Nikki's hair vagina. Jesus! Animals everywhere! Just to prove to you guys that I'm not always a complete jerk. Got some silly string here and Nikki's sleeping. See, I could have just completely covered her in silly string. And I didn't. Am I a nice guy? Or am I a nice guy? What are you doing up here, Simon? Well, Simon Boo. Little Simon loves to have his shoulder blades rubbed. It's like his favorite thing in the entire world. Doing a little bit of Xbox action, doing some PC gaming on the Xbox or the Minecraft 
on the PC. I'm going to be trying out a new Technic server. It's called Mongol, um, but it's a Brett Mounts and Bouncing server, so I'm going to check that out. I'm just downloading the packs and. I don't know, I try to not spend so much time on my computer and playing video games, which I really haven't been since um, we moved. I've just kind of been like doing all this awesome stuff, but uh, I really want to kind of work on my game channel, my fishing vet channel. Those are like my two biggest goals for this year is to grow those as much as I can, pick up some sponsors for both channels. So that's what I'm really always doing. Nikki loves to watch TV. I love to play video games. And sometimes we argue and fight about like which is better, and I honestly believe of course, that I'm right, and video games are much better than TV. You can put TV video games on games videos, but you can't put TV video games on game videos, you know what I'm saying? Crazy eyes. Whoops. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. Why do you have to film me when it looks so bad? Because I could have just completely covered you in silly string when you were sleeping, and I didn't. And I have the video evidence to prove it. I feel sick again because I was up so late. But I'm a nice guy for not doing that, am I not? But I like I worked so late last night. I went to bed at like 3 a.m. No. I, I went to bed at 3:30 a.m. Hey, but don't say I working. wasn't working. I was playing video. The video game is work. John's game channel is not gonna game itself. Yeah, but I had to like dance and be high energy. And I hours. need to. My thumb. You know how exhausted these thumbs are. These thumbs have the workload of a 55-year-old Chinese man who's been working with his thumbs his entire life. I had to walk through a doorway like oh my God. five times. You know how many doorways <laughs> I have to walk through in a video times. game world on a daily basis? You know, I read an article, or no, I watched a BuzzFeed video that you're supposed to be better at lucid dreaming when you play video games. I had a Minecraft dream once and it was, it was weird. Alright, so I got the pro mods wired up. We got the smoke hose. I've got a thermometer inside that I think that'll work normally like if I was grilling I would not put this here but since I'm not grilling um, and I'm smoking it's not gonna get above 200 300 degrees so that piece of metal and should be fine and it shouldn't malfunction I kind of messed up though last time um, I left it out in the rain and this heat came off it kind of bugs me though if anybody from char broiler or char griller is watching you could tell me why that happened that'd be great but I did see a guy online he took a his entire grill apart, he sprayed it with like a primer and an overcoat and a weather coat and a heat resistant coat and all the stuff and then he lined it with tin foil, he had ceramic heating tiles, he put in new grates, uh, he put in like a new smoke box grate for the coals, he did all this crazy stuff, that's where I got this idea. Um, he has like four temperature thermometers, he has like a, one here, one here, one here, and one here so he can see the temperature all the way across. Uh, but it's really, really important to know what the temperature is right at the meat level there. So I'm going to clean up this grill. I'm going to scrub it. I'm going to clean it. And I'm going to do a test run with one of my racks today. I'm um, going to do some smoking and see how this smoke hose works. But it should be pretty good. Yes, the grill is clean. I'm going to start up the charcoal. You guys don't have one of these, get one. Of course, here's the bag of charcoal that I threw inside from the car and it broke. So I'm just kind of setting it here like a bag of apples and I take charcoal when I need it. Yep, that's pretty slow going. Barbecue, barbecue, barbecue. Okay, for those of you that are interested, this is how I set up my grill box. I put all the coals over kind of up against the side, right against the side there. Um, and then I throw the wood that's been soaking in water for about a month. Throw that in there, close that up. And then hopefully the smoke will come out here and fill this up. One of the problems with this grill is I'm losing a lot of smoke through here and here because you can see that seal or lack of seal. All right, so here is the rib. They've been marinating in their own rub for about three days and this should be delicious. You guys could see how good this bad boy actually looked. Not just on camera, but in real life, you'd be really like, oh, Homer Simpson ended up, you know what I'm saying? And it seems like there's a lot of smoke coming out of here, um, a lot more than I've seen in the last times that I've used that. So that's a really, really good thing to use. I need to get some ceramic heat tiles yet to kind of put them down. I got a lot of, probably five or six more things I need to do to the grill, but I'm just doing a test run. I've got two more racks. I mean, you can just see, I hope you guys can see how the smoke's just pouring out of there now. If we can. And even if I like lock down the damper, you can see all the smoke that's coming out of the sides now too, which is even better 
because before it was all just pouring out the top um, it wasn't getting a lot of smoke penetration on that meat it was just getting a little bit but this is going to be really good i've got a few things yet i've still got to do to the grill as far as just smoke proofing it but i think it's going to be a really good grill and a really good smoker i'm actually not even going to use this as a grill at all it's going to be strictly a smoker and i'll use my weber for any actually grilling that i need to do oh what so the ribs have been on for about an hour as you can see i've locked myself inside it's getting dark outside look at that and that looks sexy but this bad boy is filling up with smoke the ribs are looking good you guys can't really this will be the last time you'll be able to see them on the grill but uh, let me tell you what they are look and smell delicious delicious Ribs are gonna be done in like 20, 30 minutes! What? What? I just asked if you wanted some and you were like, yeah. I do want some. Yeah, but you were like, you tried to make me think that you weren't that interested. No way, Jose. I want some of your ribs. I love your cooking. John Doe, the wonderful chef. Mm -hmm. Those look good, baby. I see you got the deodorant out to oh. put some deodorant oh, no, no, no. on those Don't ribs. Touch my ribs. <laughs> the cap's on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be playing around. Is this your secret seasoning? Just I a mean, little uh, secret, <laughs> secret seasoning, <laughs> secret deodorant. I see what you did there. I wasn't planning on it. That's why it cracked me up. Look at this. Oh it's yeah. So good. You see the smoke ring in there. It looks real good. John's such a good griller. Oh my gosh, he makes amazing ribs. I think some people suggested that you start a cooking channel too. You were going to have a full plate. John's fishing channel, John's gaming channel, John's cooking channel. Think you could do it? They, people want your recipes. Um, well, I mean, smoking and barbecue is really just time and effort and trial and error. And you do different things and you use different temperatures and... It's, I mean, it's honestly, it's a little expensive to get into barbecue because you need to buy a grill or a smoker. The meat's expensive, the sauce is expensive, the charcoal, the wood. Mm -hmm. So it's like something, I mean, you kind of like get into over time. But the more you do it, the better you get at it. And, you know, I've cooked ribs probably 14 or 15 times now, and I do it two to six hours every time. And pretty much every time they get a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better, and you learn... As you go, if you mess something up here, you won't mess it up next time. So, it's just trial and error. Mm -hmm. Kenobi looks like he wants some. <laughs> oh, and so does Aphrodite. Yeah, Aphrodite. Oh, and I saw some people asking in the comments slash commenting, like, I never see Nikki cook. Does Nikki ever cook? It seems like it's always John cooking, and Nikki buys a lot of prepackaged meals. I used to cook a lot. I just, I haven't really lately. I make really good chicken and mashed potatoes, like, put nice seasoning on it and breading, and Kenobi just hit my butt with his face. Try this. Try it? Yeah. Mm. It's good. It's like really like spicy. Not spicy, but like as in it has spices on it. But yeah, I should cook dinner one of these nights. I buy a lot of prepackaged meals simply because it's easier to count calories. And when I cook myself, I end up eating a lot, like a lot more than I, I need during the day. But I should start doing it. Plus, some things that I like to make, John doesn't really like. Like, I like a lot of curries, and I like to make interesting foods and interesting sauces with, like, coconut and curries. And John doesn't really like that type of stuff. So then I just, like, end up cooking for me. But he likes it, my chicken and mashed potatoes. Right? Don't you like my chicken and mashed potatoes? I do. Look at that. Those are ribs. This, this is a solid piece of meat here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I make good macaroni and cheese casserole too. Like different types of casseroles. Casseroles are a very Minnesotan thing. Minnesotans like their casseroles. Well, there comes a day and time in every vlog's life that we need to come to an end. And we're going to eat some ribs. And we really appreciate you guys watching. So give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, favorite this video. And don't forget to say hello to Kenobi. And quit telling me to be quiet on my gaming videos in the morning. I don't People need... do? People yeah. listen to me? I don't need that business. <laughs> so you can 
come subscribe. I win. <laughs> you realize that just I'm gonna get like louder earlier. It's like it's like a reverse graph. It's like no. seven a.m. louder, six a.m. louder. I just I can never get any peace in this house. Like this house is smaller than our old one, and then we have a neighbor whose dog barks nonstop, wakes me up every morning, and then I have to listen to John screaming in his video games. And sometimes I'll try to like come out to the couch, and then the street is too loud. Mama can't can't get no peace. You little losers. All you animals. That. That's like Yeah, that looks good, restaurant babe. Restaurant quality ribs. Good job. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm just gonna say goodbye too. Sorry I wasn't in this vlog too much today. Today was a pretty chill day, but tomorrow is another day. Hopefully it will be more eventful, but you got to see John's awesome cooking style. Goodbye guys and take care. Mwah.